Okay. Zap is back with a brand new rap for Ben and Light. Yeah, you heard about that. Yeah, we are totally ready to crack and do this wonderful set. No smack. Don't underestimate, cause I thought these cards are really great. And with the Yancey Prism, it's just fate. Fighting is the best. Ha, just you wait. Also, get out your Ultra Beast. Relax it down and take a seat. Ultra Space is really unique. And that beast ring is crazy. Oh, be with. Not gonna die. You're going to hell. Look at the down. We're dropping the hell. What can I tell? Don't start to yell. Grenin just back and does ring about. Amazing Zygarde as well. I guess with this set, we completely overwhelm the format. Episode 166. Top 10 best cards from Forbidden Light. Here we go. What's up, YouTube? It's Zabdo CCG here, and welcome to episode 166 on my channel. As you know, on my channel, we always check out the latest cards and the best decks in town, so definitely subscribe for more uh, competitive TCG content like this. In this video, we will be checking out the top 10 best cards from the upcoming Forbidden Light set, which will be available worldwide on the 4th of May. I'll be opening up a booster box of the set, so uh, you'll have an idea of what is in the set, but in this video, we are gonna check out the top 10 best cards from the set, and uh, just as a little uh, disclaimer here this is my personal top 10 if uh, you do not agree there's a comment section definitely go wild there and also uh, give me your top 10 list or, or even uh, even better your favorite card from the set all right with that out of the way let's get into this list number 10 number 10 is wake wake is an amazing new supporter that will give a lot of life to uh, uh, already existing water type decks because this is a supporter and you can only play the supporter if you discard two water energy cards from your hand and then you can search your deck for for two cards, any two cards, so it's sort of like a teammate uh, all the way uh, back, uh, I do think it was Primal Clash or anything like that, so it was a great card, you can search your deck for any two cards, that is amazing, so uh, with Wake you have to discard two water energies and uh, we can make this happen, let's say you have a Starmie on the bench, uh, think about a Greninja deck, well you can always get your energies uh, through that method with the ability Space Beacon, get those energies in the hand and boom, uh, and when you play this card you can search your deck for any two cards, a really great thing for stage two decks you can search out that rare candy let's say if you're playing on polyon and also a great thing about discarding your water energies is that you can immediately have yourself the uh, advantage by attaching uh, uh, water energies from the discard thanks to aqua patch so really great maybe you'll uh, give a lot of life to the water toolbox decks think about lapras jacks thinking about uh, a lot of nine tails jacks a lot of water types will adore this new supporter definitely on polyon and uh, even greninja so uh, although greninja is uh, a little bit uh, difficult because it uh, won't have the space for it if you have one copy and you manage to pull it off wake will be great so that's why it comes in at number 10 number nine greninja gx yeah we're still sticking with the water type shenanigans here on the list it's also pretty low on the list because this is an amazing pokemon but it does have a bad weakness and that bad weakness uh, cripples it quite a lot and also it has difficulty with ability lock think about glaceon gx uh, garboder shadow stitching with the other greninja Ninja from Breakpoint, so it uh, definitely has a little bit of its weakness uh, all around the format. But uh, if you are not ability blocked and you're not facing grass, this will be an amazing thing because it reminds us of the uh, Crobat or actually the Landy Bats deck all the way back on Boundaries Cross here. Uh, in this type of situation, you have the ability Wind Shuriken when you play it from your hand to evolve your Frogadier, you put three damage counters on your Pokemon. Or actually, you can also get this ability off by using Rare Candy. There's also two new Frokies in the set, so Greninja might see a little bit more uh, shenanigans here instead of the uh, usual build with breakpoint you can now start uh, messing around with Greninja GX it's a powerful GX also hazy slash 110 damage and then you may shuffle discard and alt cards attached to it back into your deck there's also shadow assassin GX which deals 130 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon as the GX move and if you want to learn more about Greninja GX I already made a, a separate video for Greninja GX definitely check that video it should be in the description below and uh, with that said uh, we also have a new frog Frogadier, which also has an ability if you evolve your Froakie into this Frogadier, you put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. So pretty much like Golbat and Crobat uh, from the Phantom Forces set, but this time around it's a water type, you can make use of Aqua Patch. You can uh, uh, also, it needs DCEs and uh, the, his attack cost, so you can maybe splash it around with uh, maybe a Zoroark GX or maybe some uh, something else for that matter. Maybe you can also try it out with Buzzwall. I gave a lot of ideas for Greninja GX in uh, that episode, so definitely check that episode if you want to learn more about Greninja, but here it flies in at number nine. 
Number eight. Number eight is Zygar GX plus Bonnie. I uh, put Bonnie and Zygar GX in the same number here, number eight, because they uh, together have an invincible combo. Zygar GX is a great fighting type, as you all know. It can make use of strong energy, uh, Prism, Diancy, and more. So uh, that is already a great thing here. And uh, with Bonnie, if you uh, use Bonnie, you can use your GX move, even if you've already used your GX move of your Zygar GX. So it only works with Zygar GX, but I already uh, made a separate video about Zygar GX as well. Definitely check that out if you want to learn more. So it also has a first attack, being able to accelerate energies from the discard pile to uh, fighting energies for that matter. And also has powerful attacks. Uh, 130 might not seem uh, a lot, but uh, you can build that up with strong energy prison by NC. And that attack cost can be filled up with that first energy cell connector. But then, of course, the uh, GX move. The GX move is crazy because that deals uh, 150 damage, but it also has a side effect that uh, uh, during your opponent's next turn, uh, it cannot get damaged by EXs and GXs from the opponent. So uh, you use that attack and boom, Zoroark GX cannot attack, Gardevoir GX cannot attack, and more popular Pokemon. So you're pretty much invincible and uh, you can uh, yeah, spam that attack thanks to the supporter Bonnie. So that's why both cards fly in at number 8 because they will make their sort of deck in the near future. So uh, number 8, Saigar GX with Bonnie. I'm looking forward to testing around that, uh, uh, with that particular build. Anyhow, Number seven, number seven is for Naganadel GX. It has the attack for a simple carless energy, which lets us, of course, deal uh, 20 damage for every uh, uh, Ultra Beast we have in play. So the good news about this is that there's a lot of playable uh, Ultra Beasts right now. We also have Ultra Beast support. I'm gonna talk about those cards in a minute because they are a little bit higher up in the list because Ultra Beasts are gonna become really powerful. And uh, what is good about Naganadel GX is, of course, for the first attack for a simple carless energy beast rate, 20 damage for every Ultra Beast that you have in play so it's pretty much like righteous beating but for a simple carless energy which means you won't need the psychic energy in your deck you can maybe run a bunch of boss walls and then uh, have this Nagadadal to come out of nowhere being a psychic type is amazing you hit for weakness against Lucario uh, the boss wall is also something you hit weakness for so that is already a great thing Jet Needle 110 damage enough to one shot uh, things that are weak to it and two shot things that are not weak to it but uh, then again that is where you're wrong because this attack is not affected by weakness or resistance so this this is a two-shot attack. Beast Raid uh, is also a two-shot attack, but it also has Stinger GX, and that is where the card just goes crazy here. Each player shuffles their prize cards into their deck, and then each player puts the top three cards from their deck as their face down prize cards. Boom! That is something crazy. You also can uh, power this up with another card I'm gonna talk about later, which is Molimar. But the thing that this uh, card is great for is the GX move, which can uh, make the game upside down. If you're losing, boom, you're not losing anymore. If uh, you want to uh, take three prize cards well, without knocking stuff out, you can use use that, set up a bunch of stuff on the bench. I already talked about Naganadel a little bit in a preview video. This was not a, a complete episode, but this is an amazing card because uh, of course it's an Ultra Beast and Ultra Beast gets so much support which we're gonna talk about soon enough. So this one flies in at number seven. Also a great thing is that if you just uh, combine the damage here, the early game pressure is just uh, so good. You can use Evo Soda, boom, and on your second turn 120 damage is possible. Even though you can uh, use uh, Tapu Lele and stuff, uh, this is uh, something you should consider here that there's also the uh, Ultra Space Stadium card which can grab yourself any Ultra Beast from your deck straightly into your your hand and uh, why is that good because some effects uh, fly off when you bench them think about Cartana which is now a searchable enhanced hammer thanks to that stadium card I'm also putting that stadium card in the same rank here because otherwise I have to make like a top 15 cards and uh, we're sticking to 10 cards so uh, searchable uh, of course enhanced hammer with Cartana, Cartana GX Nigaligo GX can be searched out boom uh, the opponent will be poisoned and confused and stuff and then you just evolve uh, to uh, heal off your uh, special conditions so uh, Poi Poil evolves into Naganadel GX things are looking great. Uh, Psychic also as mentioned his for a, a lot of popular Pokemon for weakness and since fighting will be kind of OP this is amazing and with a choice band uh, and uh, a beast energy which we're gonna talk about later you can uh, able to, uh, you'll able to uh, 180 damage on the opponent's Pokemon things like Tapu Bulu will go down, Drampa etc. So Naganadel on the number seven spot. Number six! 
Molomar. Molomar is just like electric, bronzong or anything that came before it. Energy acceleration uh, to attach one energy from the discard to the bench. It has to be a psychic energy, so uh, this time around, no lightning or metal. It is a psychic energy acceleration stage one Pokemon. Pairing that with a lot of popular GX Pokemon, so there is a lot of psychic potential here thanks to Molomar being having that energy acceleration. And of course, the first thing that comes to mind is Donwing's Necrozma GX. With that invasion ability, you can uh, just swoop into the active position because Malamar only attached to the, uh, attaches to the bench. With that, you can just uh, swoop in with your Dawnwings Necrozma and then attach to something on the bench, retreat thanks to a floatstone, and boom, you have an amazing combo, just like the Rayquaza Electric deck way before it. So uh, other uh, popular psychic types uh, is, of course, Ultra Necrozma Jax, which we're going to talk about later. That's a dragon type, but it needs psychic energy. It's good. Uh, this is going to be one of the best decks in the format, no doubt. New to Jax from Shining Legends. Uh, not so a lot of play, but... With Psychic Energy Acceleration, we might just see Mewtwo Jax popping up, Nigel Legal GX, Necrozma GX, because as we all know, Black Ray GX is still in town. We also have Wobbuffet, of course, with the ability shut down, and uh, the ability of your Molo Molo will still work if Wobbuffet is in the active position. Just think about that for a second. Also, Mimikyu from Guardians Rising to copy attacks, and uh, obviously, uh, the uh, Ultra Necrozma will be the ideal partner for it, but the more uh, Psychic types get released, Molo Molo will see more play, and that's why it swoops in at the numbers six spot. Number five. Number five is for Mysterious Treasure. We have to discard one card from the hand. Then we can search our deck for a Psychic or a Dragon type. Wow, think about this. It's another Tapu Lele search card. First turn Bridget, no sweat. We have, of course, our Mysterious Treasure. Let's think about you're running four Ultra Balls, maybe running two of these Mysterious Treasure, so you always have your Tapu Lele search. Another good thing is if you're, if you're running Dragon types, let's uh, say you're running Ultra Necrozma Jax, you can make use of Mysterious Treasure as well, uh, since it searches out Psychics and uh, Dragon types. Uh, it's also great in Psychic decks. Think about Garboder. So this is definitely a great card and deserves its spot on the number five. Number four. Beast Energy. This is an energy card which can be attached to Ultra Beasts and that way they are dealing an additional 30 damage. It's sort of like a rainbow energy for Ultra uh, Beast Pokemon and you also deal an additional 30 damage. Dealing extra damage has always been uh, amazing and this is a, a Prism Star card which means you can only have one in your deck but it's amazing. Uh, Let's say early on, you combine that with a Choice Band, a Diancy Prism, and Boswell suddenly out of nowhere for a single attachment, deals 110 damage, which is already enough to one-shot a Zoroark GX. So uh, that Beast Energy is amazing. It's also great for things like Feramosa, Donking is still in town, for a Fury Belt and a Beast Energy, boom, you donk people, amazing. So also things like um, Nagadadal can make use of that and other, of course, all older Ultra Beasts. So this is an amazing energy and will be put into any deck that uses Ultra Beasts. So that's why it flies in at number four. Number three. Number three is for Prism Diancy, another Prism Star card, so a lot of good Prism cards in this set. This is fantastic. Remember Regirock EX that uh, gives you an additional 10 damage for your fighting types? Well, uh, add that with another one. So two Regirock EX as well. Boom, you splash them together. We have Prism Diancy. It lets you deal 20 additional damage with your fighting types, and uh, which is amazing. It's easy searchable, of course, with Brooklet Hill, and will make Boswell so great, of course, because with that and a strong energy, you already deal 70 damage. And uh, I cannot stress that enough. 70 damage, enough to knock out all weak basics in the format. So uh, that is amazing. Boswell will see a ton of play. Uh, let's say Luca. Mario uh, is also something that can uh, benefit from that Prism Diancy because with that and a strong energy, suddenly he deals 190 damage with a choice ban and uh, for a single attachment. That is crazy. Lycanroc GX can also make use of Prism Diancy for the quick match. So suddenly uh, people are just benching three Pokemon and they, they don't bench more Pokemon because they're afraid of Dangerous Rogue GX. Well, now everything is going down the drain with Prism Diancy because that extra 20 damage is amazing. Together with strong energy, together with choice ban, you know Lycanroc GX is going to be amazing. So all the fighting types get a huge uh, boost and uh, popularity and of course if you're running Brooklet Hill this is just turn one get your Prism Diancy attachment to a Boswell or something else for that matter and boom you deal more damage that's why it flies in at number three Number two! Number two is Ultra Necrozma GX. With uh, the Malamore we mentioned, of course, because this is just amazing. Back in the days, Rayquaza Electric uh, was everywhere. It was the top deck to beat, and uh, 
just thinking about it, it works like the same method here. You just pump a bunch of energies, discard them, and boom, you can get them back with, of course, the ability. Ultra Necrozma Jax will see a huge amount of play because it also can deal 60 damage to every uh, uh, Pokemon on the opponent's side of the field. You can drop six damage counters, so uh, not even Mr. Mime can block that. And the amazing thing about Ultra Necrozma GX is that uh, it's a Dragon type, and there's gonna be a lot of Dragon type cards uh, that will work for it, which will come out the set after that. So uh, Ultra Necrozma GX, something to look forward to. Uh, why is that? Is because uh, of course the uh, combination with Malamar is so obvious, and uh, the Destructive Light GX, as mentioned, you can only use that if there are six or less prize cards remaining in play. So it's something like the early game, but could work with Espeon EX. I already made an episode about Ultra Necrozma GX as well. Definitely check that video. Should be in the description below. So amazing GX move. The dragon typing can make a uh, quick use of thanks to the uh, many dragon cards that will come out in, in the near future. And of course, it has a first attack. Photon Geyser, 20 damage, and discard all psychic energy t attached to this Pokemon. You deal an additional 80 damage for each psychic energy you discarded in that way, which means you hit the numbers uh, with two uh, discards. You are already dealing 180 damage with a choice band. This is the perfect numbers. You can add that up if you have that beast energy equipped, which we talked about before. If you have a choice band, you can also. Uh, uh, choice band and boost beast energy you will be hitting for 240 damage so this is an, am an amazing monster here and uh, with an extra psychic energy you one shot anything in the format uh, thinking about the energy cost it's kind of awkward metal and psychic but you can also make work of metagross and of course beast energy is of course a rainbow type of energy so that is amazing so that's why this is gonna be number two because this is gonna be a top deck in town and yeah I think it's amazing and I definitely can't wait to test it out Number one! Number one is B-String. Now you might think, uh, is this the best card in town? Well, yes, this is the best card from uh, the Forbidden Light set. Definitely pick up four copies of this because you might want to use it with your Ultra Beast. You may only play this card uh, when your opponent has three or four prize cards remaining. So. That is not hard. Knock out a GX, boom, you're there. And uh, with things like Boswell uh, flying around and taking quick knockouts early game, this is gonna be amazing. If you're at that point in the game, then you can make use of this card and then it searches your deck for two basic energy, reveal them and attach them to one of your Ultra Beast Pokemon. This is insane. Boswell GX is gonna be so popular with this. You have the uh, Prism Diancy, now you have the Beast Energy, and also the uh, Beast Ring for the late game. Boswell smacks around some people, or actually some Pokemon, and uh, bam, Jet Punch gets uh, two KOs, and then you can make use of Beast Ring, attach some energies, make use of Knuckle Impact, of Absorption GX. There's a lot of possibilities here. Also, Ultra Necrozma GX can make use of that Beast Ring because uh, it also is a uh, Ultra Beast. Ultra Necrozma GX is it's gonna be an amazing card here but with Malamore and B-String. I don't think you uh, necessarily need B-String, but it can set up a lot of uh, the Ultra Beast. And I'm gonna give you some more examples. Celesteela GX can now be easily powered up. Things like Magnadal GX uh, is something that can use its GX move out of nowhere. This could be the case because two attachments and also another little fun rogue deck. Guzzler GX might see some more rogue play because B-String is just so nice. The bad thing is that you have to have a first knockout here, but with that uh, attack of Guzzler, things are possible here. So all the beasts, uh, Ultra Beasts, now have the tools necessary to become top decks. Definitely check them out. And uh, that is my list, my top 10 list. If you enjoyed this list, be sure to destroy the like button. You know I always appreciate that. And uh, as mentioned uh, in the intro, let me know what your top 10 list is or your favorite car from the set. The set is coming out soon. I'll be attending a pre-release next week. So uh, be sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out. And that's it for another episode on my channel. I wish you all a fantastic rest of your day and I'll be seeing you guys soon enough. I'm out, peace.